Yo, what the fuck is good, y'all? It's your boy Bugs back with the Full Circle Podcast. Got my guy Strands in this bitch. What the fuck it is, man? How you doing? Uh-huh. No one ever sees my head when I do this. I mean to leave my nigga Buggy <laughs> hanging like that. Either. It's all good. Whatever. It's been a minute since I've seen this motherfucker. We go back a couple years now, it seems like. But... Man, yo, we go back so far, bro. I, mm-hmm. I forgot where the fuck I met you at, bro. Down the shore for sure. I don't remember where we met either, actually, now that I think about it. Like, I'm really trying. It wasn't during the cypher. We met before the cypher, so I don't know when yeah. it was, like. It yeah. was it was a while Mar- ago. Marijuana makes friends, friends though. Man, yo, That's we I made some of the best friends in my life from we basically all my real friends came from like sharing the first blunt. Yeah, marijuana. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's a topic, dude. That's fucking interesting to think about actually. Yeah, all my man. friends are like that. Now that I think about it, all of them. Where, bro? That's nuts. Yo, you want to drink a Bel Air? Fuck yeah, dude. Cheers to that. Brother, man, nice and cold. So fucking too. um. So I hear you got a new song coming out. Oh fucking, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah. been dropping. I haven't dropped songs. I've just been dropping live performances. I love doing that. Like I, I could have music videos for all these songs and drop them as singles. But there was a phase for like a year and a half. I was just doing the performances, and it's obviously because I'm doing. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir, bro. Doing fucking a lot of live shows, like two, three shows a month. Not but, facts, bro. Every time I'm on Instagram, I see you on my timeline, like improvising some shit, like going up. Yeah, you know dude. what I mean? It's fucking vibes. But yeah, lining just came out today, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm really excited about the record Fuck because, you. um, yeah, um, I'm just like at a really good space in life right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Really excited about my future. And, um, I'm not all the good things. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm just joking, dude. Nah, yo, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm fucking, like mad excited about the future. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I got mad, uh, mad shit that I'm about to put in motion. You know what I mean? Cheers to that. Cheers, brother. Cheers you know to what that. I mean? Mm. I put in shit in motion and got out my emotions, you know what I'm saying? So That's what you have to do, dude. Yeah, bro, but like It's Align, hard. Aligning is a really cool record because um it's like I think it's the first record where I felt like, you know, like I'm finally who I am as an artist. Like I reached not who I'm going to be, but you know, I'm in my I'm in my lane now. I'm in my mm-hmm. bag. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I found the sound, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, it's just real feel good record. You know, I didn't write it down or anything. Straight off the top, standing in front of the microphone. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Whatever comes to my mind, type shit. That's how I really rap. Yeah. Um, in <coughs> general, where the best flows yeah. come from. Too. I don't really write. You know what I'm saying? I'm more like a punch in. You know, four bars. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I work very fast. You know what I mean? So, did, if you, any, did, did you do it yourself? Um, I actually, uh, well, I'll, I'll record with my man, um, shout out my nigga, uh, Finesse Julian, you know what I mean? That's my producer, you know what I'm saying? I work with him up at Platinum Sound Recording Studio in Manhattan, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, me and him just been locked in since the top of the year. We cranked out so much shit, man. We got like fucking 40 unreleased records. He he makes all my beats, so it's like, yeah. we just, you know, ever since the first day, man, we just been locked in. That's my twin, for real, so yeah, shout out to bro. Fuck yeah. That's fire, so... So, yeah, that's what I'm... Because, like, obviously, we all are engineers, too. Like, most of the musicians that I fuck with are engineers as well. So, I was wondering if you did it or not, or if you produced it and shit. I mean, shit, in the A-room in New York, it's kind of hard. I mean, I can record myself, but I would have to record in the console room. Mm -hmm. I I wanted to be in the booth that day, you know what I mean? So, my man just chopped it up. He tracked me, you know what I mean? But we always we we always record each other like that's just how it is. He's the only person I probably would allow to record me besides a few other people in New York. But mm-hmm. like that's that's really it. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm is this at the now. first John you've dropped in a minute? So I've dropped, I think, one other record this year. I was just testing the water. I was just really excited about. Um, it was my first time recording on the C800. You know what I'm saying? You know that's a that's a ten thousand mm-hmm. dollar microphone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Fuck it, yeah, I record on the C800. I'm gonna just put this shit out." You know what I mean? That was really the motivation behind it. Nothing more, nothing less. You that's know what the I'm best, saying? though. That's Straight the best up, you when you just get a, like a push of fucking motivation to get it out. Like I'm I'm all about not letting shit, especially after what happened like a couple years ago. I just dropped everything that was in my computer, pretty much. Word up. It started straight up from zero in like 2020. Word and up. ever since then, I was dropping. I was dropping pretty much a song, a song or two a week for like two, three years straight, like live performances and shit. But there's something about that. There's it's not about like meeting a quota and forcing yourself to do it. There's something about just actually being motivated to just fucking 
man get the shit out speaking dude. on that bro like i forgot it even slipped my mind like when i went to so my birthday was like fucking <coughs> i don't even know how many days ago now it was what's today's date again eight uh eight damn almost two weeks ago already that's fucking nuts no, but yeah the ninth. the ninth that's nuts yo how the fuck is august going so fast? but yeah fuck all that my shit my birthday's man. in two days yo oh shit Shout, happy early birthday to my boy you know <laughs> what i'm <you>, saying <laughs> let's get it yeah but yeah my shit just passed um i was in miami for a week you know what i mean just turning up doing my thing and um Mm -hmm. I uh I shot a video for a lining, you know what I mean? So oh, I'm just word. I just had a call action like, yo, when you go out to Miami, shoot shoot a mi music video. So I, I hit up one of the homies, um my, my homie Young and Fly. Shout out to my to my homie Young and Fly too. That's the bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He he plugged me in with a videographer when I went out to Miami and, and the rest Clutch. is history, bro. Yeah. Clutch. Yeah. So that was that was pretty fun. Yeah, Shout out to Matt fair. too, the dude that shot it, you know that's what I mean? The moment. Shit is the oh best. shit, yo. <laughs> a lining video dropping August seventeenth. You know oh, what I mean? fuck, yeah, so you're dropping it quick. Yeah, bro. I, the record came out today, and we're going to come right back and drop the video. You know, we ain't going to play. we just going to keep our foot on the gas from here on out. Fuck yeah, dude. Word. I haven't even heard it yet. Man, I feel like we should do a live review, like, during the podcast. Do it right, right now. Right, let's play. Let's play. Let's, play. We'll right let's fucking... We'll do it. I'm going to roll up, and we're going to do a live <laughs> review and just vibe out. Yeah, I'll, right, put the, I'll put the audio post, too. So we can just vibe with it. Shit. Got some ops, I'm a twist and a split Bro like zombie, ain't glad it don't tick Think I'm famous, she won't take a pick Pour some Henny inside of my cup, I'ma take me a sip Choose some mushroom, I'ma take me a trip I let that Zion, you know I need my fix I spit some racks on my shoes and my fit Bitch, I be ballin', I smell like I'm rich I shoot that effin' until that shit click Then I see my bro, but I call him my twin Me and bro in the studio, time to lock in Fuck all that bullshit, they know how I'm rockin' He clock 43 X's, sound like a rockin' I be on go, but you know I'm still vibin' Feel like a start away, shippin' a line in. Three in the morning, I don't feel his arms lit. I put a stem in the cap in my chocolate I give him game, now they thinkin' they balls I send him to Jesus, he think he gon' cross it I get so hot and I feel like a Martian I get so hot and I feel like a so high, I don't know where I'm going. I get so high, I don't know where I'm going. I get so high, I don't know where I'm going. I get so high, I don't know where I'm going. Couple of what, but you know I keep pulling. I get so high, I don't know where I'm going. I get so high, I don't know where I'm going. I get so high, I don't know where I'm going. Feel like nothing like roots in the forest. Pouring on surf, you know I keep scoring. It ain't about no money, that shit ain't important. Couple of coding, you know I ain't snoring. It ain't about a check, then you know I ain't going. Back on the road and I'm making delivery. Soon as I get out the booth from recording That nigga mad at his bitch She bopping her head to the words that I sing in the chorus Let me pop my shit Got some ops, I'm a twist and a split Bro like Zoom, ain't glad it don't tick Think I'm famous, she won't take a pic Pour some Henny inside of my cup I'ma take me a sip Choose some mushroom, I'ma take me a trip I let that Zion, you know I need my fix I spit some racks on my shoes and my fit Bitch, I be ballin', I smell like I'm rich I shoot that effin' until that shit click When I see my bro, but I call him my twin Me and bro in the studio Time to lock in. Fuck all that bullshit, they know how I'm rockin' He clock 43 X, it sound like a rocket. I be on go, but you know I'm still vibin' Feel like a start away, shippin' a line in. Three in the morning, I don't feel his outfit I put a stem in the cap of my chocolate I give them game, now they thinkin' they balls Let's send him to Jesus, he think he gon' cross it. I get so hot and I feel like a Martian I get so hot and I feel like a I get so hot, I don't know where I'm going Yeah Energy yeah, dude. That shit's a bop. Oh, fucking energy, man. What was the video and were you just like on the beach oh, chilling man. and shit on the really? oh, so boat? Nah, I wish I was on the <laughs> boat. I was on the jet skis the day before I shot the video. That would have been fun. Mm -hmm. The jet ski just drove through that marsh. It was fucking epic. Damn, yeah, man. So nah, I was just, uh, I was staying at a little um, a development, uh, my timeshare in, uh, mm -hmm. in, in Weston. So, you know, I just copped a little, little car. I rented a little Tesla, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And just rocked out at the development type shit. But, like, yeah, it was fire. We shot a little bit out in the parking lot, a little bit up in the room where I was staying, a little bit out by the pool. Just, you know, just real. Mm -hmm. Just real. Um, Capturing the real life. That's it, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I just wanted to, you know, just uh, get, keep my foot, you know, like I, like I promised to myself when I... On my birthday this year, man, just be real aggressive about everything that you want in life this year. Mm -hmm. Just go for everything, you know what I mean, with no regrets. Don't hold back and just 
you know, just have absolute belief that it's going to work out. That's an interesting spot to start the year, your birthday, instead of like July, on, like January bro. 1st, you know? I'll start there, start bro. Start it on your fucking birthday. I mean, I was locked in on January 1st. Don't get yeah. it fucked up. No, no, that's don't not get what fuck- I mean. No, 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 no. I was locked in on January 1st. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah, but, but that's, an, that's an interesting perspective, though, to like yeah. make that basically like your January 1st kind of is what I'm saying. Oh, on God, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because um, get two of them. You get two of them. Yeah, I feel like that's when you, well, shit, for me personally, I, I felt like, I felt like that's when I was the most in tune with mm-hmm. the universe. So I'm like, all right, bet it's time. Facts. You know what I mean? It's time. It was a call to action. I literally, some a voice in my head said, "Yo, shoot a video when you go to Miami." You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Another voice in my head said, "Yo, hit bu- buggy up for for a podcast." Facts. It just so happened you hit me back the day the record came out. You know and the day I mean? you got the spot, like and the, the day that I had the room, like this is no, none of this was pre planned. Oh yeah, this, this happened today. This yeah. all literally <laughs> happened, like. In real time, you know what I mean? Like I love that shit, dude. And that's what it is. That's how I know it's meant to be. And it feels mm-hmm. so good. That's how I know we doing what we're supposed to be doing right yeah. now. You know? That's that's what full circle meant. It was like you're where you're supposed to be at. Mm-hmm. It's not a mindset. It's a mindset. It's not a crew. It's mm-hmm. like sometimes you're not full circle. Sometimes, like I said, you need to curl up in a ball and shit like I did in the beginning of the pandemic. Facts. It's interesting how that shit comes together like that. Because like I have I actually was there a month ago. I had uh Dude, I feel like the thing with me is I feel like I sucked this area dry of, like, inspiration. Yeah. So I've noticed when I've gone to other studios in Philly, I'm, like, cranking out yeah. fucking records yeah. in five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. So I did make a project last month that I am going to drop. I, I planned on dropping it in the beginning of this month, but I didn't. But I'm about to do the same thing, just, like, get it out, you know, just fucking get the joint out. Not like it's rushed or anything. Right, right, you right. You know, it's, it's, it's more of a motivation, momentum kind of thing. Absolutely. The pandemonium swinging right there right now. Absolutely. Because I was just doing nothing but live performances for two years, which, What's which shit? dude, really, really transitioned into my performances live in real life. Because right, you know right. I've always been a performer, right. but but this shit is it. I will say it's on another level right now. Nah, you're like, one of the most passionate drummers I know, my nigga. I'm gonna mm-hmm. keep it 100. Performers, period. Yeah, you know drumming, drumming, and Performer singing, period. and all of it, yeah, all of it. Like, because I have like I, mean? I have the vocal setup now. Where I have um. A vocal pedal board, bro. So just like my vision was, yo, if I'm going to give you guys some game real quick, because mm-hmm. I already know a lot that's happening in, in the city, because a lot of people, all the shows that I pull up with it with, people want to take a picture of my setup, but I, yeah. I like, I require that I'm in the picture. Yeah. So it's like documented where it's stemming yeah. from, like yeah. where the idea comes from. Yeah. But just how guitarists have like distortion and fucking wah pedals that they have to step on when they want to do the effects for the solos and shit. That's how I was envisioning like auto tune because sometimes you don't need the auto tune on, right, you know. Right. And you could just turn it off or reverb or whatever. So I made a vocal pedal board with compressor into uh, auto tune into um, reverb for live shit. Yeah, That's for live. live. So I want to get an echo and I'm going to get a um, chorus mm-hmm. effect and a distortion effect. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so like every song I change the key for depending on the auto tune and like. Right. When the verse starts, and if I don't need it, I just step on it like a pedal board, and I'm like, and now there's no auto tune. Right, 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 right. That's and, fire. Yeah, and then I can turn the reverb up for certain songs depending on the emotion and shit. Oh, that's fire. So yeah, it's it's completely different, and that's handled, and that's come from doing all these live performances of these records instead of making them a single and then a music video. You know, I've just been dropping them, and and now that I have a lot out, I'm gonna look back and probably put a project together with with them you know what i mean for sure and, and the game actually record them. like the game changed so much because it's all about content now yeah you that's the thing I mean? too i was like it's, it's, it's a way for me content. to stay consistent with content too it's all about content bro so at the end of the day it's like that's where my mind is at now every day mm-hmm. i wake up from this point on i'm trying to find more ways to get content you know i'm like a fiend for content now i never i'm not, I'm not comfortable in front of the camera just because of the era i came up in mm-hmm. you know what i mean i'm a little bit i don't know i've never been a hold the phone kind of guy nah. i can't i can't do that like, i came up around ogs you could tell by the candy i eat like look <laughs> motherfucking mentos, mentos. The motherfucking mentos so, Twizzlers. Yeah, like yeah yeah like, I'm like that's why like you could tell i'm an og because of the <laughs> pardon me <laughs> <laughs> you could tell I'm an OG because of the candy I eat, my nigga. You know what I mean? The strawberry Twizzlers. You don't see a lot of young niggas with the strawberry Twizzlers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. These shits right here. That's an oldie. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm, I'm gonna pop them open in a minute too. That's an oldie. I nah. used to bite in each end and then use it as a straw. Fire. No, we did them with the sour patches. I did that during football that. games with the soda. Wow. My shit was sour Skittles. Fucking anything sour, bro. Warheads. Warheads. Mm. Hmm. Did you, um, what's another They got song? little baby Johns now, like Warheads, Warheads. legendary. What was your favorite Warhead, bro? It's gotta be the purple. Purple? 
Yeah, the purple one. Or the blue one. The I blue think, one was new. The blue one wasn't there the whole time. I think the black cherry one was fucking fire. Oh, that one. Yeah, dude. I, that's the one I'm thinking of. That's purple, fire. isn't it? Or is that... That's it was like black. It was like a black... Burgundy. Was, yeah, like a dark yeah. packaging on the warhead. Oh, that was the one, dude. Yeah, that one was good. And the grape was good. Grape all of it is good. I, fucking I, 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 <laughs> So, yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, on the OG shit, like, it's hard for me to get into this content shit, but, like... I'm getting better at it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm getting a lot better at it. Every day I wake up, I just want to get more and more content. I'm a content fiend. Feed me content. Feed me content. That's why I love... Oh, you know I mean, I, you know, I've, I've been doing podcasts. <laughs> this, this, I think, is the 40, 40th one or the 41st podcast. Damn. 41? So I, yeah, so I've been doing this. And it's the best content clipper, bro, because any, like, any second mark that you want people to hear about, like... This is the thing, too. Ever since I started working with Coco Evolve, shout out to them. They've been doing everything for me. Ever since I started working with them, my whole thing has been document every single thing. Right. I don't care about what it is. It's being documented because, bro, I got 10 terabytes. I got 10 terabytes of space, dude. Like, oh, yeah. So I just, I'm stocking up all of this space that, that, that I can with all of this shit. And having interviews podcasts with people along the line i'm looking down the line as a from a book for a buggy documentary in 2030 oh, yeah. and all these clips from these different podcasts are going to be used into that but i'm also viewing it as like kind of like episode based where there's going to be character development scenes and shit so basically what where you've gone where you were when we met which is what this is we're discussing kind of those things and like where you go from here this is a good staple of like Bro. a podcast, you know what I mean? I so I'm viewing a whole fucking connected thing with the production of just the podcast alone, let alone everything that I'm doing and you're doing because right. I'm considering all that. So like if you can document as much <laughs> as you fucking, even if it is your phone from your perspective, you know, right. like, cause like I said, I'm not the kind of guy to hold my phone on me. I've right. never been that guy. Right, right, I'm more right. of a, I'd rather talk in front of a camera or something. That's why I'm trying to move my girl so she can, mm-hmm. cause she's always with me. I don't really be with people like that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, she's always had the camera too, didn't That's what she? I'm saying. But it's like, it's, you know, people gotta be, you, you, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm encouraging her every day, you know what I'm saying, to, to continuously, like, that's why in my video shoot, I had her catch some B-roll and shit. And she's fucking fire ass photographer. Mm-hmm. Like, OD, you know what I mean? Like, fire as fuck, but take it a step further. I want to see her do videos and graphic design and yeah. all that other shit, because it's, it's a source of income. She don't she don't understand how big this shit could get, or how, how big really it's about is. to get, how I big mean, it's about to get, you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's it's you know? big. It's I mean, any version of it, though, there's, there's a lot of ways to make money in this as an artist. Right. The funny thing is, it's not the music. <laughs> That's crazy, <baby>, right? <laughs> because it's not, if it was still CDs and shit, bro, we would all be making bread. If we could sell CDs like packs of weed, like, yo, I got a mixtape and people would support, but it's like, it's all online and digital when it comes to that. Right. So the only way you can make money is merchandise or throwing shows or facts, bro, or something like that. Like, I'm just thinking like, since we both met, bro, we both came so far. Like, I feel like, bro, I didn't Mm -hmm. like, like, dude, you came far when we met, you weren't even at full sale. Bro, like, talk about it. Like bro, you weren't even there shit, yet. Man, my daughter was just And I like, was so I was so envious. I was like, damn, I wanna go there so bro, bad. My but, daughter was two. My daughter was two <laughs> yeah, around that crazy. time. And she's ten now. That's over bro, we've been locked oh, up for wow, like yeah, man, that long, been that long, you know huh? what I'm saying? Like my daughter's ten now, bro. So like that's what I'm saying. Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while you were there, I was locked in the room because I was dealing with the DUI. So <laughs> I was locked in my room and I was just teaching myself and I was picking because <laughs> Kurt went to school too. Right. <coughs> and you and I had a couple other people who were doing it, but I was just doing it by myself. And then I just picked all your brains at the same time. Right. So I'm like a Frankenstein of everything. Real you know shit. what I mean? When it comes to mixing and engineering. Real shit, man. But yeah. Bro. But that was all at the same time, bro. We, we did work our ass off. Bro, I've been, I've been, been from Jersey to motherfucking Orlando to New York. And it's crazy because I never even expected to end up in New York. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to Leslie Brathway when I was in... Um, shout out to Leslie. He doing big ass shit. But I was um, <coughs> talking to Leslie when I was at Full Sail. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know this. But I was in heavy communication with Leslie. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I was about to go to Atlanta. But um, I was around, I was away from my family roughly periodically yeah, time, for like, yeah, yeah like four time, years. Yeah. They was just flying down like every, every, every month, every other month. And I was trying to make it back. You know what I mean? Flying in 7 a.m. in the morning. 
landing, you taking flights from Jersey 7 a.m., getting to Florida at 9.30, going right to mm-hmm. class. Not yeah. even going to the crib, straight from the airport to class. I remember you know all of I mean? it. So I remember like, every single bit I was of it. really grinding hard, trying to make this shit work as poss- much as I possibly could, which led me to me, you know, after I graduated, because I got a bachelor's and a master's from Full Sail. I got a bachelor's in recording arts, and I got a master's in entertainment business. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But after my bachelor's, I wanted to come back home for a little bit just to be with the fam. We went to the Bahamas. Then but, when, but it was perfect timing, because when you came back, that was when we were like... I kind of had shit shaken up a little bit down but, at the shore. That's what I'm saying. That is that around the time when the club was going? Right, back? right yep, when yep, that all yep, started. I was flying in from Florida. I remember I performed. Yeah. You that surprised one of these, me. I, I surprised. You, pull, that's uh, right, you remember that yo. at, the, at like at like the first show? I was like, I was, <laughs> yo. <laughs> you remember that shit? <laughs> you have no idea how happy I was, word, bro. I word, was so word, fucking word, stoked because this word. is the first show for real that we threw. And this is a club that fits two, three thousand people. So three hundred people, it looks like no one's in there. It's fucking crazy. Word, word. But when I saw you in the middle in the back, I was word. like, "Yo, what word the fuck? All right, we're doing it now. Word we we connected it. We're it up. We did word it. Up. We, we that's connected true. that's that so shit. true. You had the studio going and shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? So yeah, that that whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So like. Man, I really did none. I think about it. I did a lot of shit in like the last eight years, bro. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of shit, bro. If you would have asked me eight years ago, was I going to do all a that? A lot of traveling, a lot oh, of... Oh, man. A lot of sleepless nights. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I met a lot of good people, though, too. You know what I mean? I learned a lot about myself. A lot of experiences, you know, that, learned, that helped me learn a lot about life in general. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I learned who's important to me, who's not. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I just learned so much, man. I just want to thank God first and foremost. I should <laughs> yeah, have been said been that. You know you've mean? been on yeah. go. So shout out to God for keeping me on go. Or... <laughs> and for a while, I was stuck because of the DUI, and I was paying that off. Which, yo, guys, don't do it. Trust me, don't do it. Don't drink and drive. It Word, is not worth it. Fuck hurting yourself and killing other people, dog. <laughs> like that shit that I had to pay off was not worth it. But it got me stuck down the shore, and that's why. Okay, I had to work with where I was and the fucking shit out you can't write that shit bro i'm telling you this is gonna be a netflix show like this is gonna be series like there's gonna be like character arcs where like you have like six episodes you know or like or a season you know like i see like a real but it's a real show yeah it's let me not get a, a segment it's not no you got a hold on that's what yeah, i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's a major role in all this shit yeah but, i'm thinking about but yeah, once yeah, i got yeah, my yeah. car a year ago like two years ago finally back from all that shit all that guap, dude, it's it's completely changed. Now I've spread everything back out, and now I can connect things from where they were. But also, chips fell where they did, and I, you know, things have to be maneuvered around Absolutely. to make sure that the comfort stays. Absolutely. So so that your brand can continue to grow, which is what's exactly <laughs> exactly what's been happening. Absolutely, you know what I mean? Man. So yep. it's beautiful, dude. It really is. And in hindsight, like everything is going to eventually fall where it's supposed to as far as that goes. Most definitely. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's why like we, you know, we but, just, but we you're working your ass off though. That's it, bro. We just keep working. Uh-huh. You keep having faith. You know what I'm saying? And we, and we just see that. We just see the end result. You know what I'm saying? I don't see nothing in front of me. I see the end. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I see the ending, you know? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You feel me as far as where I want to be? I spent a long time living in the past, yep. you know? Yeah, that's not good, though. Yeah. We both know that's not that's, good. That's not, yeah. That's so how you like, live in a repetitive cycle of whatever yeah. you don't want to go through. <laughs> Anger you know builds saying? up, yeah. resentment, all these things happen. But this is something natural everybody has, Absolutely. you know? You, you can't. Go through that. Sometimes you can't help what you think about. But once you do realize that it is your choice to a degree, like you can quote-unquote distract and focus... That's different. Discipline is the thing. Discipline, discipline is freedom. I saw that in a sentence the other day. However, we feel, it's our job to focus on feeling better. And it's different, mm-hmm. it, bro. I'm not talking about just switching straight from anger to happiness. That's almost impossible to do sometimes. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But there's emotions in between that are better than being angry. As far as like, yeah, being, you're not wrong for feeling them either. Yeah, you can feel. No, them. you're not. Like mm-hmm. if you're angry, being frustrated is better than being angry yeah. you get what i'm saying so that's a emotion that feels better you know what i mean that's just our job mm-hmm. you know what i mean if you're yeah, angry, like am i just frustrated for like the second you, you know, know I mean? or am i actually angry exactly at something? you know yeah. what i mean and then you mm-hmm. constantly then you consciously move into better emotions once you move up the ladder you know what i mean that's how it works mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but bro i've been i've been i've been reading so many books this year you know what i'm saying i want to mm-hmm. share one with the people what book should i share with y'all hmm. Hmm. i'm not going to share the one out well, share it. Share it. Share it. All right, I'll share one book. I ain't gonna give y'all my whole book list. Y'all, fuck, <laughs> y'all fucking wild. Y'all, y'all ain't getting my whole book list. I don't, I'm not a reader for real. I'm a reader, bro. Readers mm-hmm. are dreamers. Dream, dreamers are thinkers. All of, all of us connected. But look, mm-hmm. I'm gonna just tell y'all this one, right? 
Y'all fucking read the magic of thinking big. You feel me? Read that book, you know what I'm saying? And apply it to how you moving in your life, you know what I mean? Holla at me later. You know what I mean? Facts. Holla at me later. Big shit popping, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, that's a jewel, though. All jokes aside, yo. Read that book, nigga. Mm. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I just never been... It might be my attention deficit type shit, but like sitting and reading, I've always been a writer. So why don't you just you know? do audio books because you deal with audio? That's different. I would, I, I would definitely listen to the shit. It's a difference. I mean, it's the same. You're still getting information one way or another. I mean, I, yeah. I would say it's more powerful reading, reading it, it, retaining it. Yeah, yeah, because it keeps you present. You get what I'm saying? Like when you're mm-hmm. listening to something, you, your, your mind can drift off of to wherever. You know what I'm saying? But when you're reading something, you actually have to pay attention to what the fuck you're reading in order mm-hmm. to comprehend it. So you stay present. That's why I say reading is a little bit more effective. Well, that was how they tried to prescribe me fucking Ritalin when I Adderall when I was a kid. They had me read a sentence out loud, mm-hmm. and I was a kid that we could read like perfectly, right? But I didn't retain what I read because I was focused on reading it good versus retaining the information. And he was like, "What did you add? What did you just read about?" I was like, "I don't know a bird." He was like. What color was the bird? I was like a blue bird, and I was completely wrong. It wasn't, right, about, right, a right, right, it wasn't about a bird at all. Right, 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 damn. But my boy was way off. Yeah, <laughs> like, it, it was about flying. It wasn't. It was about flying. It wasn't about a bird. It was about a kite or some shit. It was completely off. But because of that, they wanted to put me on Adderall, bro. That's nuts. A fucking sick. A fucking fifth grader. That's nuts. Sixth grade. Nah, that's not good. So I was. <laughs> Sound like a scam I, to me. I, it sounds like MK Ultra to me, bro. <laughs> It sounds like our generation's MK Ultra. That's sounds a like new a business. Theory. That's a new theory. <laughs> it sounds like, like, sound like a business. Let's get them hooked while they're young. Bro. Let's get them hooked while they're young. Yeah, you're but what had happened life. was I had no appetite. I didn't eat food and I didn't talk to anybody. I turned into a robot for like the two weeks. It was three weeks that I was on it. And I, I like said like, no, nah, I don't like this. I don't want it. I was a normal kid, bro. I just fucking, we shouldn't be sitting as kids like that, bro. All right. of the, all of all classes should be kind of like gym. If, if you know what I mean. Like, Facts. as a kid. Like, Facts. the kid should be moving around. Like, math needs to be gym. Facts. You know, like, Facts. English needs to be, like, in the woods or something. Facts. Why not? Like, yeah. Like I the, support that. It needs to be mobile. I, th- and I, I didn't have ADD, dude. I didn't need no fucking Adderall at fucking 11 years old, bro. And they're doing that to millions and millions of kids on on all sides of the spectrum of... That's how I feel. Like, one time my daughter was, like, having, like, a little breathing issue. Next thing you know, they want to put her on a fucking breathing machine, all this other weird shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, she don't got asthma. Why are you trying to make her think yeah, she, she got asthma? asthma? She don't have asthma, bro. And they're <clears> trying to put her on a breathing machine, all this other weird shit. I'm like, bro, what is all this for? You know what I mean? Like, it's mm-hmm. not like y'all niggas is on trying to run a business. Like, y'all trying to sell some shit. You know There's a mean? lot of stories of, like, <clears throat> doctors saying this kid will never walk or something. And then the kid be, like, running. Well, listen. Like, a year later. It's the power of the mind, man. Don't let them trick you. You know what I mean? Yeah, that manifestation shit is real. Man, that shit is so fucking real, bro. I love it. I love everything about it. That's that's why I got this crystal. I got a crystal. Ooh. Okay. I got a crystal. So this is my crystal. I carry it with me everywhere. It's a very power this is a very powerful crystal right here. It's called Moldavite. So Motivite is a crystal that came from outer space. This is the only crystal that came from a comet actually crashing down into Earth mm-hmm. and then the the shit that splattered. After it crashed, pardon me, it it created these crystals right here, the rock. You know what I'm saying? So this is the motivate. It's um, I mean you can look it up. You know what I mean? But it's basically, (coughs) it's basically a crystal that attracts change faster. So whatever you want, it'll come faster. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people say you should balance it out with other crystals that'll ground you. And stuff like that, but you're like, fuck that, I'm out. Fuck that, I'm raw dogging it. Fuck <laughs> that, I'm out. No. I'm raw dogging it. We out of here. You know what I mean? Motorbike gang. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, everybody should have something that grounds them. Or I found that, a I found a John shooting bow and arrows the other day. Yeah, or like man. a couple of, a month ago. Let's go. You know what I mean? So this is this is <coughs> this is this is where my energy is online nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Or shout out to all my people that's fucking with them crystals. <coughs> There's something to it. There's something to it, dude. Keeps that energy good, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot to it, I got my Palo Santos, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really, like, tuned in, you know what I mean? Like, it's just Mm. all about good energy with me nowadays. I just want to keep attracting good energy, you know what I mean? I want to keep receiving good energy, you know what I'm saying? That's how it's always been for me. So, like, that's that was another thing I had to contemplate, like, (coughs) the whole uh, why me thing. Right. From the loss, from 
all versions from death and life. Yeah. Losing people to death and life. Yeah. So, like, contemplating all that is the same exact thing. Yeah. Yeah. Coming to grips with that is like, okay. Uh, Excuse me. Man. I'm At least, like, if I didn't have the outlet of art, bro, I, I might have gone crazy, dude. But I was able Real to shit. express it and get it out through writing and... That's probably why I don't read because I do write a lot, and that's actually that. <coughs> I had to come to grips with this too. I, if you remember, I don't listen to much music because I don't want to be subconsciously influenced. Absolutely, I want to stay as original as I can. So I was, when I like realized, I was like, "Yo, I'm taking like the thing I enjoy the most away." Like, okay, I can make it, but like, I'm also not enjoying it. That's some powerful shit. So I, I like started fucking listening to like bands and shit again, and like. Getting back into just enjoying listening to music instead of rearranging it like Prince did when he like like Man. like rearranging the whole song in my head when I'm listening to it. Man, I'm happy you did that because like I said, bro, it's just all about doing what makes you feel a little bit better. Yeah, you know dude. What it's all about doing what and it's crazy too because um shit, you know me, man. I, I I've been locked in on some engineering shit for like the last four years heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. O D, like post school, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I, I and it's like I work with I work with I had a studio in Atlantic City, you know what I'm saying, that closed for mm-hmm. whatever reason, you know what I mean? But um shout out to all my clients that came and fucked with me while I was uh while I had shit cooking at the Grammys room, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Shit was legendary run, you know what I mean? But yeah, I was locked in on that and then it's like <coughs> man, I learned so much more much about audio and just like engineering as a whole that it just really just reboosted all the confidence that I initially got from being an artist, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, which mm-hmm. propelled me into engineering, it, it, it reactivated that, you know what I'm saying? So now it's like... That's what the shows did for me. So for I feel like if I, if, I, if I project myself 20 years into the future and I didn't give being an artist a 100% chance, right I would now. regret it. Yeah, right now. I would yeah. regret it. You got to look at shit like you know that. What I'm saying? I got yeah. all the tools I need, my nigga. Like everything is damn near in-house for me. The only thing look at I'm what miss- we built. You yeah. feel me? The only thing I'm missing is a fucking videographer, bro. Like dead ass. That's li- I got I got any everything, any and everything I need. I got niggas I could just trust to mix my records. You know what I'm saying? Like I got mm-hmm. every and master my, I got everything I need. You know what I mean? So it's like, even though I'm mixing master my own shit, I got people I can trust to do that for me. I don't even gotta think twice about it. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like I got niggas, I got producers, one producer, my nigga, you already know, bro. So it's like, we locked in, you know what I mean? I don't try to do too much. I try to keep shit tight, you know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. why this shit is going to work, and that's why I'm going to win, my nigga, you know what I mean? Fact. Straight up, you know what I'm saying? Like, not to be blunt or anything, <laughs> but like I said, all glory to God, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. this time, this run right here that I'm about to make is going to be legendary, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking that into existence now. That's why it's cool, because <clears throat> I'm not expecting anybody that I already know to support me. I'm literally focusing on everybody that I don't know that's going to support me. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The people that I know and people that see me come up from wherever I came up from to where I'm at now, mm-hmm. they're they going to be the last ones to support me. I already understand that. You know what I mean? And I ain't even worried about that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm focused on... That's how it goes. It's, <laughs> in, it's interesting me? how that works. I ain't even worried about that. You know But what that's saying? because I, t- I tell people that all the time. Like uh, any new artists that come up... Because I found that I become like... A, a mentor a lot too because of everything that I do and how I connect scenes and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's the one thing I try to tell new artists or people in general. Like you already figured it out. Fucking, you can't hold your friends accountable to be fans. They're already your friend, right? Like, cause think about it. If you're a fan, what's your goal to meet the person, right? Right. Then you meet them and they become your friend. Now, do, are you their fan or are you? Do you feel like you should be invited to backstage to shit? Right, 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 right. It's a thin line that gets crossed there. It's a thin line. It's a sticky situation, right yeah. there. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. a sticky situation. You know what I'm saying? Like you could, you could, you could. Man, it's it's it's, really it's a very thin line. It's a very sticky situation. It's a very sticky situation. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That's why, like I said, man, I'm just trying to keep everything in house for this point moving on. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? We got a lot of great things coming. A lot of great visuals. A lot of great songs. A lot of great records. You know what I mean? A lot of great collabs. You know what I mean? So much shit is coming. Like I'm just super duper excited for it. I got all the resources I need, and mm-hmm. it's like it's up, my nigga. It's just up. You know what I mean? It's up, bro. Fuck bro. yeah. Fuck yeah, yo! It's up, man. You know what I'm saying, uh, um, um, uh, shit. <laughs> we got we got those other songs too, dude. From fucking 
four or five years ago. Bro, the, what record? Yo, you should play I one said of those the, the one of them was like, well, how'd it go? It was like, uh... We don't need somewhere to go. We just need something to hold. It's like a game, the way you run around. Do you remember that one? I don't remember my Holy verse on it. Shit. No, you I were don't, like, bro. And then the other one was like, the camera. <laughs> the camera shit. Johnny posted online like, uh, Post it online, John. Like, let, to let, laugh let, for the camera. So let, let, so let, 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 let. Damn, <laughs> we made that shit at the club. We made that shit at the club, right? That was a long time ago. Damn. Yeah, five years ago. I gotta play that guy. Definitely got him in the fucking vault, bro. Damn, I'm gonna play both of them, John. That's right here. nutty, man. Because yo, that that first John is a hit, dude. Because you said it was a person that that you worked at, at Platinum that produced it. Oh man, that was probably my nigga that I'm working with now. You see how crazy full circle. You mm-hmm. see how full circle shit comes around because I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? That was That'd probably be great. That making all my beats right now. Swear, bro. <laughs> bro, those two songs are bangers. That's the thing too. I realize like, yo, music. If it's fucking great, it's gonna be a banger six years from the there, five years from there, three years from there. Word like up, these bro. songs are timeless, timeless. for yeah. real. Straight up, my nigga. You know a lot I mean? of them. I got a lot of good records in the talk too with a lot of good dudes, you know what I'm saying? I got some shit with my nigga Fizzy, I got a drop. Shout out my nigga. Matter of fact, I'm about to call that nigga right now. Let me see what this nigga doing. Man. Call him, yo. Let me call this nigga Fizzy, man. See what this nigga doing, man. Fisker. Shout out to guys, Fizzy. Man. The guy. Talk Down. I, I consider guys, Talk Down my first. That was my that first was official drop. That was legendary. My that was nigga. my first official official drop. That was legendary. With Fizzy. That was legendary, man. That's hilarious. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, sir, man. I'm tapped in. I'm doing Look a little podcast. Fizzers. I'm with the bugger right now. I'm the buggy. You know, I'm the buggy, buggy, you know. The buggy, the buggy guy. guy. We with the buggy guy right now. Yeah. I'm gonna hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna turn you up so he can That's hear. That's crazy. I still be, you know, what I'm saying, bumping me and bug shit. We got some classical shit. Bro. What y'all did? What, what we was just talking about? Talk down. I swear to God, oh that shit God. legendary. We made. I just was listening to some song where we had, man, dude. That shit was with me and rest his soul. Uh, I forgot his name. Nick, oh, De- Nick Demadia. Nick Demadia. What's his name again? Nick Demadia. Dematia. Nick. That's his name, bro. Nicky. Legendary shit, bro. Come on, cuz. If you cause. really listen to that song, it's way before it's time, bro. Come on, cuz. We were just talking about Timeless, bro. Music is timeless, bro, and you right on point, my nigga. Straight up, man. Yeah, man gets locked in on this podcast, man. I was just telling him a line and just dropped today, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, me and Fizzy got some shit we got to drop too, you know what I mean? Mm. Word up, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and Fizzy got some shit we got to drop. Word up. Yeah, we definitely got to tap in. You know, I've been, um, you know, more on the, on the aspect of trying to get my... My kids straight, my family straight, but mm-hmm. you know, that you know that come first. You. you know that come first. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't happen to you. <laughs> Hell no, nah. because you got some crazy shit going on. And I, I told you, I, t- I speak to you on a fucking regular. Um, the best thing that you can do is have fun doing what you're doing. You're not doing it for no accolades. You know what I'm saying? You're doing that shit, and and, and you came a long way with this shit because now you created a, uh, you created a certain brand to your to your name. You feel what I'm saying? And to your sound. You feel me? That shit don't sound like when we was rapping. When I was 2017, 2018, that shit don't sound like strands. Word. <laughs> As I was telling Buggy, like I just came into my, I finally grew into. Like you always used to tell me, you gonna find your sound, cause you gonna find your shit, you gonna find your shit. I found my shit, cause. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not nah, real shit, man. Like e- even not to not to get off the topic of you, but with Bugs working with Bugs, bro. This motherfucker is super musically inclined. You hear me? Yes, sir. <laughs> like, like I seen this man go into the booth, cause. And you know how he rap. Mm-hmm. He's not just just he's not just putting words together. He's not just like rapping the rock. Folks really rapping that lyrical shit. You yeah. hear me? <laughs> bro, I've seen this man go into that shit and do that in ten minutes, bro. Mm-hmm. No no bullshit. Come mm-hmm. out and edit himself, make that shit sound crispier. He's not going home to mix nothing. Right. <laughs> I've seen that man do that shit, bro. Right. And when you when you surround yourself with people that really like believe in themselves that way, that shit powerful, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm serious. And I I can tell it since that because when I moved away from um that type of environment, cause that shit that when you tap back into that, that's really a drug, mm-hmm. folks. It, I've it seen is, that nigga bro, bugs, bro. That, that's exactly that nigga what not it human is. when he in that booth. I swear to God. <laughs> right, 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 right. And that's and when me and Fizzy met. We made talk down, but talk down turned into twenty songs. But that was in the first week. 
the first week of never knowing each a, other. Never, didn't know him from a can of paint, cuz. <laughs> and I feel like I from a can of, I'm telling you. it's crazy because it's crazy because I feel like I would have been wild. involved in a lot more records if I wasn't in Florida at full sale. Yeah, you were. You there. get what I'm saying? So mm. the only reason yeah, that I feel like because yeah, you know what I mean. Because a lot of them records that we were doing, bro. We, we were on, I was FaceTiming you, like Facts. you're doing now. And then when you came down to check us out, I got pictures of us. And yeah, yeah, they studio. do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, you always was tapped in. It's I'm going to throw them bitches in there. Bro, 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 everybody goes through things in their life where it puts you in different situations and different places. So, you know, but I love the experiences I had with both of you. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You want some more, bro? Fuck yeah, brother. Thank uh, you. Hell yeah, bro. What you working on, brother? Huh? What you working on? Oh, I was telling them I'm just dropping fucking shit as far as live takes go. I'm just doing live shit, bro, throwing shows. I love it. I love it, man. Just keep it, you know, in they face. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Real life in they face. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I tell this nigga straight every day. First, you know, I had to re- retract myself because I hear so much unreleased music from bro. And it's like, dang, I'm a, I'm a super fan, and I, I'm cool with saying that because that's my homie. That's and really he dropped now, and he's finally dropped it. I'm yeah. finally dropping now. <laughs> finally I'm finally in the field. It. I'm finally in the field now, cause you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of what, what, what my boy is doing, and not even just by his music, but by him as a, a person. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So, um, I told him the other day, I'm like, yo, bro, drop that shit. Get them niggas with, you know what I'm saying? That shit hard. Mm-hmm. Every time I see the nigga, he got something different for me. I swear to God. Fuck yeah. So, he played the music, bang. I'm like, who is this? I'm in the back seat of his car. I'm in the front seat of his car in the passenger seat. What the fuck is this, cuz? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Blew my fucking mind. <laughs> yeah. what it sounds like. But this man is like tapped into a different type of space now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he on a whole different what's the name right now? Sometimes That's I can't yeah. even talk to him on a personal level because his mind ain't even you know, I'll come to him with my real personal situations. He there. But this nigga's such in a positive vibe that it's like, uh, <laughs> you feel me? I was just telling <laughs> Buggy that I was just telling bro that like I gotta be there cause you know my frequency, my nigga. You know my frequency, my guy. You know what I'm gonna give you every time it's you come like, to me. It's a repellent and you have to have it, bro. Mm. Come on. You, have to have it, you know, and it's, it, it don't matter who it is, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that you would disregard me like oh fuck that nigga's problems, but it's just like I'm gonna put him in a better situation than than, mm. than, than let him linger on with what with this conversation's trying to go. You get what I'm saying? You know, Always, cuz. Uh, and, and, and that's even, that's that's dope because that turns into y'all music. That turns into your music. You hear me? Word. You know, that's Word that's up. why I love that shit. Word up, my boy. I said, y'all got to call Fizzy and tap in with bro because at the ultimately, my nigga, the records we got, my nigga, them shits getting, them shits getting put out, my nigga. And not only that, nigga, that people want to hear some more Fizzy, my nigga. Yeah, you know Fizzy's like hear, Fizzy's ass for. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to do it. I was work. I was actually <coughs> of, uh, before I try to like, you know, oh, I'm gonna come out with a mixtape. I'm gonna do a best of Fizzy, you mm-hmm. know, just just so I can sit back and get the reaction of my own come, becoming a fan of myself. You feel me? I, I, I'm different, yeah. y'all. I'm not, the same, I'm not the same person I was rapping that shit. I'm not going through the same story. Yeah. So now, when I do my music, it's really fucking strategical. It's, bro, you know how many fucking notebook papers I ball up every fucking day, bro? Because it's like, I got something so more personal and so more, like, it's not, it's no fun right now. I need to tell my story. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like that mm-hmm. anymore. You know what I mean? So it'd be hard to trap myself in a different uh, atmosphere with motherfuckers who don't know me. Right. Yeah. The studios I walked into, I look around like, oh, all right, man. $75 an hour. Like, fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm, 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 I'm just like slowly getting my own shit. Cause I just got a Mac. You know what I mean? Now it's just slowly getting my own. But beyond that, it's, I got to get the love of music back. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. This shit is not yo. Everybody that's doing music right now, and I'm not discrediting the music right now, but they're just doing it because this music is something to do. That shit was really spiritual to me. You right, know? right. I prayed to that shit, nigga. I lived that shit. I messed time for my kids away from the, for that shit. I fucking really do. I mean, words, nigga. You got to really tap in, cuz, and you there. Mm. Oh shit! Appreciate that, my boy. Word up, my nigga. Or just boom, bro. Yeah, it, take, it takes a while to get there, and that's why that's why I've been doing live shows. That's exactly what the live shows have done for that me. It's a spiritual connection. You hear mm-hmm. me? Yeah, I don't be getting it fucked is. up for it's my shows, vibe. bro. Like it's the adrenaline that you feel is you can't explain that shit. It's it's a bugs. You know this shit, bugs. It's mm-hmm. a vibe, bro. That shit is a vibe. Yeah, you can be in the room, right? Even you, me, you, all three of us can be in a room, right? It could be one person that comes into that room and will change that whole situation, bro. Yeah, oh, shit. We don't even know. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, the blunt could be rolled wrong. 
If it comes around to me, that can fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't fuck out my motherfucking blunt now, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean? don't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's. I love what you're doing, Strands. You you have a repellent on you, bro. Um, you got big aspirations with you, bro. You you want you have to just not believe what other people's is believing in about you or for you. But you believe that shit, bro. Oh, you're, God. You're, you, and, you, and you sit here and think, and all of us get ourselves trapped into thinking, oh, I ain't make it. I ain't doing it. Fuck, nigga. You make, you already there. Right. Mm-hmm. Just because motherfucker don't see you on TV or riding in the nicest car, nigga, who's to say that you're not there? I don't want to be famous. Thanks. I just want to be. Comfortable and, doing what the fuck I'm doing and you made it. Cause these weird niggas gonna wait for a celebrity to co-sign me, my nigga, and then I'm not gonna yeah. give a fuck about what the fuck they have to <laughs> say, my nigga. I st- already don't give a fuck about what they got to say, but I'm really gonna be like, oh, you a weird, you the weird fake nigga that I've been knew you was. You get what I'm saying? And that's the beauty of life, bro. I started to realize that when I was on this shit heavy, like I was doing this shit, it's either two things you either gonna love about you either gonna love me or hate me. It was no in between. Right. You gonna hate how confident I am, or you gonna think, oh, that nigga think he nice, he think he this, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how I have to do it. Right. I remember in one song I said, uh, I said I can't be wrong. I said I can't be wrong. I say I'm the best. That's what I'm aiming to. Right. <laughs> Fuck. How are you wrong for feeling that you? Uh, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be in that mind frame, cuz fuck everybody, and you know what I'm saying. Hmm. Word, fizzy as shit. I think I think we do. You still there, cuz? I think we might have lost fizzy. You you there, fizzy cuz? Is shit. All right, we lost fizzy. We we, we gonna we'll call. Him later. We'll get we'll call back fizzy in a little bit. You know what I'm saying. Fizzy's the shit, yo. Yeah. It's Fucking up, um. Bro. It's all good. That's my bro. Shout out to Fizzy, man. That's that's the bro, man. He taught me. He's one of the first niggas I looked up to with this music shit. I ain't scared to say it either. You know what I'm saying? Bro taught me a lot about music and life in general. So yeah, that's my man. That's yeah. All that's like when man. I when you I moved down mean? here. That's how we met, bro. I just because of that. That's just reminded me. So uh, when I got the job at Crab Trap uh-huh. because I had to pay off the DUI. Uh huh. I said, because I did ciphers and I did the Camden site. You know, that's yeah. that was my shit. Yeah, that's why yeah, my yeah, areas. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. my areas up there. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I was like, yo, who's the artist out here? Right. Who should who should I talk to? Right. The only two names that people said was Strands and Fizzy, Strands and Fizzy, Strands and Fizzy, and Mizzy. So it was y'all three that people said. So from day one when I was at Crab Trap, which was like the week I lost my, lost my car and license right. and shit. Right. I was like, all right, I need to stack up money. I need time, but I'll eventually find these motherfuckers. I'll eventually get everybody linked together. Because I know that that's what I do, you know what I mean? Right. And obviously, it fucking happened, but you, I needed, <laughs> I needed marijuana right. a lot. Right, right, so, right, like, right, me and you right, hit right. up, like, connected right, right away. Right. Like, so, right, right. that's why it's been, like, eight years, dude. Nah, like, because me and you linked, but Fizzy wasn't around. Facts. And nothing was really there was nowhere to connect things we, so we pretty much all just like partied i think here and there yeah, yeah you know yeah and then it turned into like all right yo i got like i got the laptop to start really mixing and we started doing shit bro and, i wasn't even engineering back yeah, then you that's, weren't even you didn't even leave yet i didn't even so, i was like, never touching the board or anything bro like that's nuts my it nigga. was more about like finding who dude we were young we were just partying you know that's so crazy to me now though that i wasn't even in mm-hmm. like but what? I, but from the beginning, I had the whole vision. I wasn't confident though. You my know, that's what it was. My thing was to get y'all together, and then I found out that you guys were friends, and then like all these things, like because he wasn't around. So right. So what? When things split apart, and then they came together at the club, mm-hmm. and it's and it the way that it happened to be me running it type shit. It was you. You really, really, really can't write that shit. Because the week that I opened that up was the week that I met Fizzy, and we made Talk Down. Two weeks later, we had 20 songs together. A month later, we made the video for Talk Down, and then did the other song, You. Mm -hmm. Two videos. We had the investors that wanted to invest in us. Is it like we were about to do it? Mm -hmm. But then a month later, like things come together as quick as they fall apart sometimes, and it's because. Just business weird things, yeah. artistic egos, whatever yeah. they, whatever you want to blame it on, things yeah. happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though we was, le- I was leading with peace to yeah. like have everybody do everything. Everybody had a role. Right. You know? Everybody knew what everybody was good at. 
All you, you know? can do is charge it to the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so, it. You know so, what I mean? but, that's, but that's what I'm saying. Everybody knew mm. what they were good at, but it's still sometimes... That's the thing about a team. It's like you say you need a team to do it, but like that's actually what pushed me away from wanting to have like a big team type shit because I realized, okay, well, if you want something done right type shit, you got to do, do it yourself. yourself. You have to. You got to. And if there's all these holes... That are leaking in some sort of way, whether it's uh, comfort, whether it's trust, whether it's uh, whatever it is, dude. Uh, like not this dude, not produ- like just for example, say you got three producers in the room and one of them's not producing a lot of beats when they're like talented as fuck. You know, you got to yeah. have conversations with them and try to motivate them and shit. But but the thing is that week when we made talk down, dude, that's like that's what I mean. That's what I was saying earlier about just doing the shit when you do it and it was just a quick thing that happened it was a moment of time that we captured and we were able to like just fucking drop it and talk down was my first official john that i dropped on all platforms and that's just crazy that's how i feel about like um this run that me and my nigga finesse julian the nigga that produced my beats just went on we literally since january we probably got like 40 unreleased record all, all original beats you get what i'm saying like anything i released our rap on is always going to be an original beat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like I said, we got like 40 records. We sitting on so much crazy shit. I got EDM records. I got melodic shit. I got rapping shit. I got trap shit. I got drill shit. I got all types of flavors. Good. All types of flavors in the <coughs> chamber. Good. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So it's like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I I, 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 I even got some shit. Man, I, man listen. I got, I got a whole... Man, I got some shit that I'm... You, niggas make me want to play some shit, but I ain't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do it. No, we're having a listening session. You feel me? I'm going to play some unreleased shit in a minute. Then we're going to do an unreleased section in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do an unreleased yeah, section shit. in a minute. I'm going to do an unreleased section in a minute. You know what I mean? Unreleased section in a minute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Twisting up this motherfucking ganja green, man. You know what I mean? I told myself, I said, I should, I should smoke a quarter during this motherfucking podcast. You feel me? So how about, I had told uh, myself that. I mean, dude, I'm not, not against that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking, um, <coughs> you got it. You should perform at one of my shows soon, dude. Man. They all sell out, bro. They're like, they're only, we're only doing like 50, 100 capacity. So, I mean, that's, and, let's and do that. And whatever the capacity is, we're selling them out, bro. I'll perform at one of your shows, bro. The next one's on Saturday, bro. You can, you can pull up Saturday. Straight up. Where's it at? Philly, self-employed. Philly. But uh, how long my set got to be? It's from 4 to, 4 to 9 p.m. We're doing a daytime job. How long are the sets for all the other artists? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 8, 10 minutes, yeah. But I got I could do a, a ten minute set. I, I got a DJ doing like a forty five minute set. He's a fucking monster. Uh, I could do some all original shit, shit and then Cal Black setting that bitch off. I could do some shit. Yeah, pull up, bro. It's gonna be a vibe. I could do some shit. You feel me? I'm gonna perform a lining and I'm gonna do two. It's gonna get into one MP3. I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna and do a lining. And if you know the auto tune keys, like I said, I'll have them. I have my board set up. So I can have you have auto tune live. I probably won't do any auto tune records that I have to, that I need auto tune for. You know what I mean? I might though. I'll let you know. You know what I'm saying? I'll let you know. It's a vibe. It's a vibe, my nigga. But it's yeah, I, it's something you said earlier. Oh, you, yeah, you know said how some, my events are, bro. Yeah, it's all love. Like that's what we were talking about. Like you said something earlier. It was like some some some. You was like you need. You, it don't work right unless you do it yourself. Yeah. But even if you're not going to do it yourself, you need to know how to fuck. This shit is done. Yep. You get what I'm saying? You still need to know. You still need to know how it's done so, so nobody can fucked over. So nobody can fucking play you, my nigga. So these niggas can't play you, That's B. Facts. You feel me? That's you know what facts. I'm saying? Like yes. I wanna just double back on that and get that yep. out there for the yeah. people, you know what I'm Good saying? Good call, bro. Word Good call. Up, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I feel like that was important to It's multi layered with you know that. What I mean? for yes, sure. sir. Word, you know what I mean? That's that's a fucking uh, fact, yeah. bro. Let me see what one of these mentos is saying. I because guarantee- shit gets goofy out there, bro. Shit can get goofy. I guarantee you when I open these mentos. The first color is going to be yellow. I don't yellow. think I've ever fucking had a mental, bro. You want to try one? Mm-hmm. I think the first color is going to be yellow. What do you think? Oh, they're all different colors? There's different colors. I got a feeling the first color is going to be yellow when I open it. I'll rock with pink, dude. Let's see. Damn, you, can you tell we fucking gamble? Let's see. <laughs> Damn. Oh, That's shit, it. we got New Jersey on the... Oh, don't lose the Rhode Island, yo. Oh, we were both wrong. It's fucking purple. Is that pink or purple? That's pink, bro. That's pink? All right, well, like you win. Pink. Go ahead, you win. Okay, thanks, dude. Ah, uh, look what the next color is. Uh, <laughs> it's yellow. <laughs> it's yellow. What is it? Like a Starburst? I don't know. What's your review on it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, candy's so fucking good. I like it. Word. It's kind of like a, a 
a crunchy hard piece of gum, but then it goes into like a they're air, not airhead type of gel. They're usually not that patties. hard. They're usually not that hard. Pause. Them shits is like supposed to be soft, but that's OG candy. So that shit with that the fucking, explains. Um, probably been sitting for a while. It's OG candy. And you young and don't know nothing about it. Fucking mentos. <laughs> usually they make you <laughs> that that shit with the. Uh, Oh, why can't I say the word <laughs> champagne? It, tasty. Tasty. Mm-hmm. Tasty. Keep looking at these pictures. They're kind of dope. Come on, man. Yo, Sometimes Mentos. Sometimes they be getting it. Yo, Mentos. Oh, shout out to the, yo, Bel Air. Yo, shout out to Rick Ross and Bel Air. Rose, mm. one of my sponsors in the future. We're going to do a partnership. Mm. You know what I mean? And shout out to Mentos, too. I'll fuck around and do a partnership with y'all, too. You feel me? Oh, my R- God. R- Ray-Ban. So- I'm doing a partnership with y'all too. You already know the vibes. It's kind of starbursty. It's a little starbursty. It's good. That's fire though. Mm-hmm. And it's ultimately very good. Sheesh. It's something good. You know what I mean? Something good. Has like an explosion of flavor. Let's go. So yeah, I was more like a Skittles dude. Butterfingers. Ooh. You know what? Sour Skittles, maybe. Sour Skittles, dude, yeah. I'm just be making me sweat, though. I ain't gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making niggas sweat. Yeah, what bro. is that? How the fuck did they manipulate the one thing on your taste buds that's just like, mm-hmm. God, mm-hmm. just cranks it the fuck up? I need dude. that. They did a good job with that. Yeah, it's a drug. That's they a drug, dude. That. That's a drug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go. They, dude, just fucking put a big, just put sugar on a plate. Don't even give me, just give me sugar. I'll eat all the sugar. Just pour sugar on a plate and give that to me. I'll make something with it. Feel me? That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Feel me? <coughs> Can I get a little more of that in yours? Yes, sir. In <sighs> Oh, shit, my bad. Well, let me see. I just got you. Me. I got you, brother. One second. These young bulls are... Oh, New Jersey just scored, bro. New Jersey's coming back. Thank you, brother. Yeah. You can kill it, bro. Take the rest. Thank oh. you, man. So, yeah, man. <laughs> fucking. Uh, for the most part, man. Do you have any other songs lined up? Or are you rocking with this I right do, now? I do, but they don't have any titles. Like, they're it's just... It's just... Mm-hmm. I don't. I didn't name them yet. You we know gotta drop I mean? that one. So, I'm telling you, when you hear it after this podcast, when we play it, you're gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Let me see. What song should I play? Next? It's a hit, bro. I feel like right now. It's I another. It's one of them timeless Johns. It's funny that we. Isn't that funny how we mentioned timeless and then mm-hmm. Fizzy? The first thing he said was like, "Yo, the shit mm-hmm. we did was timeless." So, that's funny as shit, bro. I think it feels like a good time to drop to play an unre- another unreleased record. Do it. Do it. I'll dance for a sec. Let me see which one. We'll put it in post again so people can actually hear it. <laughs> I guess we can. Is there a way that we can put it to the end of the podcast though, or do we have to? Is it have to be like? I mean, let's do it at the end. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't know what. I'd time, rather do it at the end. I don't know what time mark we're at right now. I forgot to hit the time, John. I'd rather do it at the end. Though I feel I like that's something we should hour, say. But like it. I said, there's no limit. We no, just, no, no. We we just can, talk. I mean, I feel like we got a, 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 a lot of you know solid shit. You know, what I, mean? <laughs> like, I feel like we got a lot of solid there, shit. There's the song on then. I bet. This, this is the end then. Stony. Is he going on? What record should I play? I don't know. Play Candy kind of guy. <laughs> Yo, they're not ready for this shit. The world, I don't even know if I should. See, I can't. I, I, shit keeps falling I wanna down. Give them all. Should I give them all? I can't give them all of it right now. I can't give them all of it. I nah, do one of them. Pick one of I them. I can't do that one because that one's too special. I can play it for you after. All right, all right, all right. I'll, all right, play, right. I'll play that one for you after. But I'm play whatever play you want, but yeah, right, don't right, just yeah, only that, do one. That one I'm going to play after. I'll play something different. I'll play something different. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is what happens when I get in my computer and I like, what should I play? I see fucking seventy nine songs that I made in the I'll past three that months, I That's and I'm like, do. shit. Let's play the one that I dropped before this. I'll play eight a.m. I'll play eight a.m. Yeah, That's I don't a- think I heard that one. That's a record that I dropped before. 
uh, align, align it. We'll play 8 a.m. That's what we'll do. Y'all, all right, so yeah, we'll play 8 a.m. Y'all make sure y'all go stream 8 a.m. at the y'all stream. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Damn, it still looks fucking epic out there. So right now I'm about to play more fucking 8 a.m. for y'all. This is the record I dropped before aligning. You know what I mean? Um, make sure y'all go stream this shit too at the y'all stream aligning. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and, and make sure y'all follow me on Instagram too <laughs> at Sonics. <laughs> By strands because at the end of the day I want to be able to interact with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I want I want to be able to tap in with y'all and when y'all need a record. You know what I'm saying? I mean Them shits like they was Jordans Thuggin' out in NYC, I'm 8 a.m. recording I just caught some drip, I guarantee you can't afford it Every time I set the trap out up, she begged me to record it uh, All my drugs are sorted, we get trippies, I ride out the floors Eat them shroomies with me, microdosing, bitch, I'm feeling gorgeous Holding with the candy, got me high as fuck, I'm still in orbit Pop another perky, bitch, I'm busting, I feel like a Taurus and I like blue cheese, I like walk hard If them niggas giving bad vibes, then I guarantee that they not ours I just be feeling the energy, I cannot rock with no enemy Run up a bag to infinity, hey man, I keep going up, they cannot limit me uh, Ride with the bros and you know how I give it up Chew me a polka dot, but that shit lit me up Stop me a business to clean all the money I count on some racky, my head started cramping up Came from the bottom, you know we still going up We put the work in, cause we the one showing up I said I quit, but you know I can't kick the cup yeah, I'm high enough, but you know I'm still rolling up Skinny jeans on me, my pocket be swallowed up Me and finesse, we locked in like the door was shut I got them plates coming in on a toga truck She tryna date me, but I cannot fall in love Call me a pack and you know I'ma weigh it up F right on me, you know they can't play with us You know we raging just like Woodstock I heard try to find me a way to run me up a mill from a laptop they know I'm outside in the garden state Get yeah, active, got watch for the garden snakes To be honest, we all got a part to play I made a choice to go cash me a check today Viewers on my feet, I rock them shits like they was Jordans yeah. Thuggin' out in NYC, I'm 8 a.m. recording I just caught some drip, I guarantee you can't afford it Every time I set the trap out up, she begged me to record it uh, All my drugs are sorted, we get trippies, I ride out the forest Eat them shroomies with me, microdosing, bitch, I'm feeling gorgeous Coding with the candy, got me High as fuck, I'm still in orbit. Pop another perky, bitch. I'm busting up, feel like a Taurus. 